Hey everybody, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And today we are reviewing The Photograph. So, The Photograph. Uh, a journalist, played by Lakeith Stanfield, flies to New Orleans to interview an old man. We felt, correct me if I'm wrong, we felt it was never really stated what this guy was being interviewed about. Um, let's assume it is about uh, a semi-famous photographer. I think that must have been what it was. It has to be. I don't understand anything else that happens. At any rate, that's certainly what they talk a lot about. This old guy knew the photographer way back when. When they were both very young, young, young they people. were yeah, in love, their lives had meaning, it was exciting. <laughs> no. But they were, they were young and in love, and probably on the verge of getting married. And I guess she uh, was feeling a little bit not great about that because she wanted to be a photographer and felt she needed to leave home to do that. So her big plan was to move to New York, and he did not move with her. No, she just got on a bus. She just got on a bus. I don't think he she didn't even told follow her. her. No, he told did, him. she did not. Yeah. Because he, I mean, they discussed New York, and he was never for it. He was very comfortable living a sedate life, doing the same job that his dad did before him, living in the family home. That's the life that he wanted. And she left, he did not follow. And that's it. They have not, never saw each other again. Well, maybe uh, once. Once, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so he kind of, the journalist, like Keith Stanfield, hears this story and is really kind of interested about, you know, what would have prompted this young woman of color to seize the day really when a lot of women not only didn't do that but were kind of shamed for doing that for putting career ahead of family and what gave her the chutzpah to go all the way there so he goes back to new york and he contacts a gallery that's uh doing a retrospective on her work and it just so happens i don't think it just so happens it happens that uh, one of the curators is the photographer's own daughter, played by the lovely Issa Rae. So, yeah, he's working on his article. Mm -hmm. Spending a lot of time with her, mm -hmm. asking her all sorts of questions. All, some of them not related to work. No. So they have kind of a, a little romance of brewing. And so then we're kind of seeing back and forth between um, the sort of love story of the young photographer and the old man who was young at the time and this sort of new and blooming relationship. And yeah, so it's funny because just last week we were talking about The Lovebirds, another sort of rom-com starring Issa Rae with Kumail Nanjiani. We really liked that. And I enjoyed this movie. It got a, a quick release in theaters. I think it was in theaters for Valentine's Day. We didn't see it then. Um, but I'm glad we saw it now because it's not a bad movie. It's a romantic movie, but not a bad one. And even if it was a bad one, I think that Issa Rae really elevates the material. And I love Lakeith Stanfield too. Not to like put down these fellas because she got two really great co-stars. But I did feel like we could declare this 2020 is the year of Issa Rae. And I feel really sad that this is the crappy year she got. Uh, and you know, she has obviously done wonderful things in television before now, but to come out so strong, I think both of these movies, really great material for her and she really shines. And even though I really believed in her and Kumail, <laughs> You can still believe in her and Lakeith, guys. You can, you can live in a world where they're, they're both possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So did you like the photograph? I did. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I feel like I would have liked for it to be more Lakeith and Issa mm -hmm. and less of the mom story, mm -hmm. which just, it, it was too much jumping mm -hmm. back and forth, I think, where mm -hmm. you kind of lost where you were yeah. in the other story. Mm -hmm. And then, oh yeah, this is still happening. So yeah, that would have been my preference. Mm -hmm. But it was still an enjoyable film. Mm -hmm. And I do think Issa Rae is the standout here. Mm -hmm. uh, she really does do better than this movie. Uh, well, it wasn't a bad movie, no. but she does lift it up. She does. So it is, I agree. Uh, pretty much exactly on that. I think it is another case of tearing the narrative in two and we didn't need that other story, really. We could have just met them. She is grieving her mother who's recently deceased. That's usually why, that's when we start caring about artists generally is after, after they're dead. dead. Um, so she is grieving. He's just out of uh, depending who you ask, a relationship <laughs> or a series of first dates. <laughs> <laughs> he has some very talkative little nieces. <laughs> yes, <laughs> kind of wonderful, <laughs> yeah. I think. The nieces that were. was good, yeah. that, that whole family <laughs> dynamic. Yes, of course, and uh, little Ron Howard, who does his uh, older brother. Yeah, he's awesome. Uh, very, yes, it's a very cute relationship. I certainly bought that and enjoyed his scenes. He's kind of a scene stealer, I thought. Yeah. But even the, the kids have got some the good lives. The kids are good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, how wonderful would it be really to just focus on these two? They are meeting at uh, an inconvenient time in their lives. Well, that's what, otherwise it'd be very simple, right? <laughs> yes. And that's a thing, like, are you going to be open to love? Because they're, you know, trying to make decisions fairly quickly into a relationship. Because he is off to London. Yeah, it's hard. It is very hard. It's hard to take that gamble, I guess. It's and also hard not to. Very true. But I mean, we are told in this other love story that her mother walked away from love but found success. I mean, she, she, she did. She, was, she yeah. has a level of fame and money. She lived well. Um, it was uh, smart for her to gamble on career. Yeah, but maybe she could have had both. Maybe she could. Well, I mean, I don't know if we're comfortable saying she didn't have both because she walked away from that guy, but she oh, found Courtney B. Vance. Yeah, he's hardly in the movie. That's I forgot true. about yes. that. And I would have seen him more. Absolutely. Uh, I like him a lot. He's very good. And I think we don't see him often enough. Absolutely. And he was very underused in this movie, yeah. as you say. I don't know if he had scenes cut out or what, but we don't see nearly enough from him. So I don't think we can say that she lived without That's love. That's true. Just but not we do one. kind yeah. of make a point of saying maybe she wasn't really a great mother and that she really felt comfortable expressing her love and her passion for work, but maybe not really outside of it. So I think her, her husband understood that and understood, you know, that she couldn't necessarily say what she meant, but that she felt it. Her daughter maybe needed more. Oh, she, she absolutely did. Mm -hmm. So that is a dynamic that doesn't really get explored in this mm -hmm. version of the movie, mm -hmm. for better or worse. Um, that's right, and I think that's why we could have benefited. Just we don't have to do the the backwards relationship. You know, I think coming to terms with grief and everything that, you know, the pros and the cons and the lists we make and the sacrifices and the things we give up. I think that would have been enough, and just focused on this one couple who were very bright and sunny and it's so exciting to watch anybody fall in love really it's always kind of cool to see that and eavesdrop on those heady first days yes it is and mm -hmm. they made it work Lakeith and Issa are you want to see more of them mm -hmm. I guess that's the the curse of being as good as they were together mm -hmm. in this movie you can't get enough and the rest of it is just like well 
stop wasting my time. I want to see the, <laughs> the stuff that I was enjoying just, just a few minutes ago. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> uh, get back to... Yeah, we don't need to know about the past. <laughs> get back to the future. You don't think we can learn lessons from the past? We probably can. That's Not what you. history teachers keep saying. That I is, always thought it was yep. just a little bit of uh, self-justification. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's yeah. why we did that. It was a good... That's why you have to read my book and purchase it. <laughs> that's right. Okay, so you would just skip ahead, live in the now. Live in the now. Live in the London. I go to London. Mm -hmm. I know you would go. Would you rather would live I, in New York? Would I rather live in New York or London? Or New Orleans. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Well, we have never been to London. It's on our list. Mm -hmm. We really enjoy the other two cities. Mm -hmm. I don't know where. I guess I wouldn't really want to live in the U.S. right now. Well. So, London it is! Although, wait a minute. The U.K. is also, like, pretty bad mm -hmm. with COVID. That's right. So, <laughs> maybe we'll just stay we'll in just our bubble. We'll just stay here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're going to stay right here. Deal. And just rent movies about places. Yeah. Where you can fast forward through the politics. And maybe we'll just do like the Google Maps Street View if we want to go <laughs> visit somewhere. <laughs> Take that tourism. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna I think we're gonna rework that plan a little bit. We're gonna chew on it and come back on your travel plans. Okay. Thumbs up on this movie. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. It is a pretty good movie. Good rent. Good rental. A good rental. Some good chemistry. Yeah. In fact, a pretty good ensemble cast. Very. It's quite deep. Yes. That's the thing. Like, it's really great a uh, couple, and it's fun to play voyeur on them, I guess. Don't don't tell them I said that. <laughs> uh, I've been asked. I've <laughs> <laughs> been asked to keep your distance. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think there's a lot to recommend it, and it's not a perfect movie, but I think it's a good relax with, you know, the last bit of wine. There you go. There you go. Get the good quarantine wine. That's right. The fuzzy socks out. You're good to go. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.